Yellow. Hi. Wait, hold on. You may notice that I don't have my usual microphone set up. I'm doing something a little bit more casual. Oh, um, there you go. Took off the reverb. Oh my god, I had coffee. I, I have coffee in my system, and I still am drinking coffee. And it's well past 1 p.m. It is too far in the evening for me to be drinking coffee. But the, the case is that I'm, I'm drinking coffee. Iced. You know, I should take out the rest of the ice before it waters down the rest. I'll be right back. Shit. Hold on. I'll be right back. I know, I know. I just started the live and I'm about to disappear, but you can wait or you can come back. I'll be back in like five minutes, okay? One sec. back see how long did that take less than two minutes i have a lot of sugar in my hand this is the remaining of my coffee i even put some of my homemade oat milk in it just so it would be a little less intense but the damage is already done okay it's coffee it's gonna get in my system whether there's milk in it or not this is donuts donut holes from Bosa because donut holes from Bosa are iconic and they touch a there's two gnats flying around in front of my face this is not okay they know I have ADHD they know like oh my god she's doing something multiple things at once just distract her more so anyway also isn't this so cool it's my favorite thing about having a window I have like the sunlight coming right in as it sets and the film that I put over it. I got online on Amazon for quite a cheap price actually and it's very lovely. It's one of the first things I um, decorated my room with. It's so good. It's because my front, my singular window is at the front of the house. So any person who's walking by could look directly into my window. So I figured, hey, I might as well try to make it look a little bit more discreet, putting on this window screen film. And just look how cool it is. I saw an ad for it on Instagram and I was like, oh my god, please. This might have also been during the time I was going through my Etsy obsession. Also, sorry, I forgot about this. During my Etsy obsession period, that was a phase of my 2020 life where I would obsessively purchase something from Etsy every other month. 
Sometimes it would be plugs. Sometimes it would be clothes. Um, I did even get some perfume from there. And my water pipe. Okay, so it's just, it's just like a little glass bottle with like a tube, a rubber plastic tube with a with a straw tip and you know connected to the little plug for the glass bottle there's a hole in it and in the top there's just like this little funnel with a silver mesh screen and i used that used that yeah in the summertime i became very um herbal enthusiast oh my god that is the perfect phrase <laughs> i made a friend once earlier wait towards the very end, that drew a portrait of me based on one of the facial expressions i made a lot it was just like and so they drew me with my face, but then the body was like a bulky. I have it right here. I could show it to you if I really wanted to, but let me finish describing it first. It's just this bulky gang boy body, like the size of a club oh, yeah. bouncer. And on the arms, there's like tattoos. And one of them said drug enthusiast. And then I white outed over it and put herbal enthusiast because I am an herbal enthusiast. Honeysuckle, mugwort, incredible for your dreamscape. Honeysuckle is good for your um, menstrual period time. The gnat just landed on my screen and his little friend is also flying towards my donuts. Oh my God, there's so many gnats. Why do I even try? Did you just see it fly into the camera for a minute? Like for a split second, it was just there and it's crawling all over my screen. I got it. Ah, oh God, now it's on my keyboard. Oh God, please. I can't pick it up. It's just too small. Uh, okay, just slide it. Okay, here it is. Um, so anyway, herbal enthusiast, I realized that formal podcasts require editing. So that is why I'm not calling this a podcast anymore. I know, so tragic, right? Except I can still use the audio for this and then edit, like download it in the future, edit it to my liking, put music in it you know, mix the audio to sound clearer, crisper, if I can. And then later in the future, I can just, I can just, you know, turn the audio of this live into a podcast. That is an option. That's a possibility of what could be. So I'm open to that. It does sound fun. But um, I am I am preserving that idea for a more opportune time. I'm a firm believer that there is always a time and a place for whatever activity I'm thinking of. And the right time and the right place will only allow this to happen so much easier, exactly as it was meant to be. Fucking that. Um, yeah, there'll be a lot of things in life that are difficult and require my absolute dedication in order for it to just happen. Things don't just happen for me. I mean, okay, wait. 
I do believe that life happens for me. It is a lot more secure and safe to believe that over the belief that life happens to me. Life happens for me. There will be cases where you know, hard things happen. I'm not going to say bad, but hard things do happen. Nothing will ever change that because that's an integral part of life. However, if something is meant to be, if, the, if something is meant for me to, to, to embrace, then the fight for it would, wouldn't would take more out of me than it gives. I'm going to leave that there because I can't elaborate on that and make it any clearer. Like, if I keep trying to explain it, it's just going to get so much more confusing. That's the thing about people explaining things. A lot of the time, you don't need to explain it in such lengthy paragraphs, you don't even need to use like whole sentences. Short and sweet will always get the best point across. You kind of just have to trust that the other person can comprehend words as well as you can um, describe them. Not on my subway cookie paper. I'm just going to try pinch it. Ah, oh, shit, it flew away. I thought I got it. Oh, anyway, today I was given the task to go grocery shopping. I was given a budget of $120. I spent... I was going to try to put it in, like, percentages and, like, fraction amounts, but that's not how this works. I spent... I spent a small sum at Safeway using my savings phone number. So I saved some money, got everything I needed from there. Then I went to the Dollar Tree and I ended up buying a lot of what I didn't need. So, you know, be warned of the, there's two gnats. Fuck. They're just going everywhere. And I can't spray them because they're going everywhere. I would have to spray my entire room. And then before I know it, I'm losing brain cells because, ooh, the fumes are everywhere. So anyway, I bought hobby items from Dollar Tree. I was just so enthralled. But the aisles, you know what? Going into a store and browsing the aisles is my favorite thing. That might be the best thing about living in suburbia. Yeah, that's what I always call it, living in suburbia. Because I'm not in the city, I'm not in the countryside. You know, most middle class people just live in the suburbs. You know, the indie, coming of age movie type of suburbs. I have found a lot of appreciation for the suburbs. But... It's only been that way for the past couple or few years. In the beginning of high school and, you know, all of middle school, I was severely disappointed with the fact that I'm not in the city. Like, I could be in the city right now, but I'm not. Okay, wait, the net landed. Maybe I can smush it. <sighs> Fuck. I fucking am. So anyway. I want to show you my, uh, I'm going to do a hobby haul. I like how that sounds, hobby haul. What if I change the title to hobby haul instead of hobbies and errands? Hobby haul. Kobe. J-Hope. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a K-pop fan. Not as much as I used to be, but last night I'm pretty sure 
B- one of the BTS members, some of them, showed up in my dream. They've been showing up, like, a little bit inconsistently in the past week. I remember, oh my god, I just recalled a part of my dream that I forgot. We were doing some sort of water slide thing with, like, where you sit in a raft and go down. And I was grouped with Jungkook and maybe Taehyung, maybe Namjoon. Oh my god, that dream was awesome. It did involve cats being the familiars of Garrett Watts' dead grandmother. Um, I love Garrett Watts. I love BTS. That was a whole confusing ordeal. Also, it did include the four elements, like in the Avatar. The last airbender but i don't think any of the avatar characters were there maybe katara was there in the background actually maybe i can't tell it was either katara or my sister it's really confusing trying to tell you my dreams but this is what i remember this is what i'm recalling and i don't write down my dreams anymore sometimes i just write down like one single detail that i can recall and leave it at that But you know, it's always fun to recall dreams. I've been staring at the edit settings window this entire time because I've (sighs) errands. And um, activities. Smiley face. Ooh, yes. Okay. The coffee is running through my veins. I feel like I'm on. So fun fact, I need to get my prescription refilled for Adderall. I only use or take, I mean, 15 milligram. Milligrams per day. But I ran out of those yesterday, and I still have an old prescription of the 20 milligram ones that I was first prescribed with. So I took that one instead today, hoping I would have the most effective and productive day possible. And so far, I'm pretty sure I have. It's been very interesting. Living in this mode of love, living in this mindset right now with the medication, like I said earlier, it does it doesn't stop anything difficult from happening. It just assists me in how I handle said difficulties. And you know, I guess I'm just a lot more objective. I don't attach intense feelings or reactions to any given event. And I guess that gives me more time to properly process my emotions, which is great because I'm a very emotional person. And I'm not usually proud of other people knowing that. I'm like secure in myself knowing that about me, but it's not something I would tell someone on our first impression. I mean, They're probably going to find out anyway, if they're going to stay in my life, that I am a very emotional person. Nat. No fucking way. I just literally clapped it out of existence. Sorry, Nat. You had to be sacrificed. I was going to show it to you, but it just slipped out of my fingers. Now it's hiding in my carpet. So I'm talking so fast that I can't stop salivating. Okay, I'm going to show you what I got from the dollar store. Also, side note before I start, there was this little mushroom. (sighs) Fuck. (sighs) Okay, there was this little mushroom, ceramic glazed figurine thing that I saw in the gardening section of the dollar store. And I wanted, to have it like i wanted to put it in my room because i think it was the most adorable thing it was just a little brown mushroom 
but I I picked it up and then I set it down and then the next thing I knew I have no idea where it went like I was looking at every shelf that I just passed looking through my bag looking through my basket of items it was nowhere to be seen so I'm pretty sure what happened is I set it down and someone else walked past me that I was deliberately avoiding looking at and I guess maybe they picked it up and moved it or something like that. That's what I'm going to believe because if I don't, then I don't, I, I'm just gonna keep thinking about it and wondering. And that's okay for um, like <laughs> the first five minutes of doing that and then it it's not okay anymore. Oh my God. So let's just start this. This is cork, cork sheet. And it's an adhesive, so you can peel off the back and, and stick it onto something. I think I want to stick it onto my vision wall. Because I do also really just like how cork looks. Yeah, so then I can like pin a bunch of stuff to it. And that's great, because I have my pins right here. I keep dropping them, and they keep all falling out. And I'm pretty sure every time I drop them, one or two pins go loose go loose and then they're just waiting for me to step on them at some point but at knock on wood just in case yeah i think i will be putting this on my mission wall maybe on my closet door but i think my vision wall is best because i don't know then i can take stuff off and Put new things up also i got not one but two adult coloring books because they both have pages that the other one didn't have that i thought were super cool and oh my god i just really like the lines i like the lines let me try to find my favorites oh my god look at this Ugh. It's just waiting to be filled in. Look at that. I love how the clouds and trees are so swirly. It kind of is terrifying because it reminds me of Junji Ito's, the uh, fucking, those, the spiral manga, that specific one where like everything, the whole town is like being consumed by spirals. It's like the most deadliest force in that. It's just spirals. Something about psychological horror is just so, so pleasing to me. It makes me feel very, very good. Satisfied with the horrors of my psyche. Look at this. Flowers in a windowsill. And I can color it however I please because I have a whole bunch of colored pencils over there just waiting to be used. And for all of the pencils that are dull, I got Piranha Pencil Sharpeners. Yes! Yes! Okay, I'm excited for that. I will make time for these activities. I will, I really will, because they're, they're not whole projects, just itching to be completed. No, I don't need to complete these. They're, they're meant for starting, which is delightful because completing things makes me not want to do it at all. And I know that's something I should work on, but for now, until then, until that is something I am capable of doing, which I'm always capable of doing anything I please. But until I allow myself the opportunity, oh my God, there's two gnats on my Donut bag, please. Three, three in my room? Jesus. I hope Darylene's okay. The apple in rock is still there. Anyway, I need a pee. Can we take a break? Let's take a break. It'll be less than five minutes, I swear.
Okay, I'm back. Oh my god, gnats can eat my ass. Still can't tell if I got it. Well, anyway. I got that. Some gardening gloves, as well as wild flower seeds for planting. I don't know if I'm doing them in the outdoor pots by my window. Seems like a good idea because these ones will attract hummingbirds and possibly also butterflies. Easy pour spout. So you just... <sighs> Hello, second viewer, which I'm assuming is Kamaya. Welcome to my live show. I got gardening gloves. I'm doing a hobby haul. <sighs> my mind wants to do everything. Like, it wants to do all of it. I got two... They're not balls. Two quantities of yarn. And I'm gonna use my crocheting needle to make, I don't know, maybe I'll make a top or a scarf because I made a scarf out of by crocheting before and it came out really curly at the end and I just loved it so much, but I don't know where it went. And that's really sad. I, I I haven't seen it since I moved. It's just a big wonder. Like, did I put it in a bag somewhere? I don't know. I could ask all of these questions and none of them will stay answered. None of them will ever be answered, but I can ask them anyway. And that is tiresome. So let's continue. Yes, I'm excited to start crocheting again. It was peaceful. You know, you can play your music or be outside in the nature. And just like, I don't know. Knitting is kind of a hard concept to me. I don't know. The two needles, I mean, it's it's cool and all, but I'm just not a knitter. Some people are embroiderers. Some people knit. I'm more of a crocheter. Even then, I don't really have a great crocheting technique. I kind of just do the most simple one and go with it. And it worked before. And as time goes on, I can I can work on it again. But yeah, I got neutral colors. This is like a really warm gray. It almost looks like a light brown. And this is like a cool tone brown. It looks a lot warmer on camera because of the sun lighting, but yes. I don't know if I can use them together. That sounds like something difficult, but I'm willing to figure it out when I get to that point. Anyway, I want, yeah, I want to, if I could crochet myself a top out of this, I just want like a halter top, like a crocheted halter top with these two colors too. Oh my God, what if I made it in the pattern of like argyle, like, like a sweater vest, you know, with those diamond shapes in that pattern I think would be really cute especially with my blonde hair and with my root roots growing in I'm excited I was also debating if I wanted to get the pink yarn as well but I figured no 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 two at the moment is enough I'm not going to overwhelm myself with the amount of options I have one or two is all I need for right now if I choose to keep doing this and I actually do it, then I'll get more. Just it, just imagine like a really soft light pink with a mix of these two very neutral colors. Like, like look at this. That'd be such a lovely color combination. Imagine a little, a little crocheted halter top with the little pink details. Oh my God. I will definitely get started on that because I need, I need that. I need that color combination to exist. Please. <sighs> My crochet needle has been so lonely. I don't know why I kissed it, but it gave me lots of feelings. So I guess that's how I'm expressing that. The Dollar Tree has a book section. And I was looking at the prices and it says like, US $17.99. But they're a dollar because they're at the Dollar Tree. And the cashier lady told me, yeah, like some things may be under a dollar, but nothing is ever over a dollar here. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, but good. 
because I wasn't expecting this to be a dollar. But I got a whole bunch of books, and by a whole bunch, I mean like a few. I don't even read that much, but these books make me want to read. This is called The History of Jane Doe. I was like skimming through the summary and the book jackets. I'm like, oh my God, this kind of, this kind of uh, imitates the patterns of my life right now. And I would love to read how this story ends for the characters in these books so I can more fully expand my possibility of what could happen for me. Yes, yes, Kamaya, they do have a book section. And this is another one that I got. It's called Feral Youth. And if I fucking love book titles, song titles, album titles, any fucking title you could think of, I love coming up with titles. Feral Youth? Fuck it. It's Feral Youth could be the name of my indie coming of age movie. And. The best part is, it's also a little bit discouraging because I thought this was just my idea alone. I don't know when this book came out, but I need to look it up because it kind of plagiarized my idea. So when I was in middle school and, you know, depressed and inspired, and like a troubled artist, I was like, one day I'm going to make this 10 year plan. All right. By the end of the 10 year plan, I'm going to have researched, uh, edited, re-edited and published a book about this girl who has either DID or multiple personality disorder where she just has alters and she experiences life through different personalities and each chapter is either a different personality or I don't know something like that and I was gonna have that done by the time I was 30 so I could look back and realize all this work that I've done but I never really got started on it. It's just been an idea for the past several years, but that's like where the best ideas develop over several years. Anyway, these people already did it, but it's not the exact same. A novel in 10 points of view and nine other powerhouse authors. So this author plus nine other authors wrote their own points of view of the same story, which is crazy i love that idea the collaboration of it i want to recreate that with my own personal you know um contribution with my own chosen people too but these these are the the same story from the different perspectives i want to do same story same person diff different perspectives i don't know something something about like, i haven't done my research yet okay it's still an idea <sighs> artists that only yeah i'm a vanity artist vanity artists only like have great ideas but aren't that open to criticism and so they never actually eat any of their works which you know what if that's vanity art then call me vain because that's 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 my pattern that's how i am at the moment and one day i will publish something something will come of this i think of which one of my old friends from middle school came out with an ep in collaboration with one of her friends and i was so bewildered i had no idea that she even liked songwriting or making music and so i asked what was the process like tell me she just said, well, I had this friend who was already starting this project and I joined in on her and wrote some stuff and then sang with her. And she said it was about a, a year long process for this project. And that's incredible. That's incredible and inspiring. And it inspired me. So we'll see where that goes. Um, but yeah, I got three books here, three chapter books. Pretty sure they're all young adult novels, like teen inspired. But you know what? I'm 18. These still apply to me. I'm a young adult. Even though I was reading young adult books since like sixth grade. Actually, I don't think I've read books like by my own accord without being assigned these chapters. 
I haven't really read a book. Actually, that's a lie. I do, on rare occasion, read this brain psychology self-help book. Um, but I haven't in a while. I just liked going through it and highlighting all the parts that apply to me because I'm self-centered. The world resolves it. Uh, that was supposed to be a joke, but I don't even have the effort for it anymore. I need to breathe. <clears throat> yeah, in elementary school, we had reading hour. And that's the time where I spent like most of it in the bathroom. Or I was writing on lined paper and passing notes to my friends, which is why I was so interested in this. It's called Folded Notes from High School. We would pretend we were on in, in an online chat room and we would like draw it out and then like say put we would write down our username and then colon and then our message and then keep going through that. And then uh I did something like that in in like first grade too. We would take the scraps of um paper, construction paper, and like create our own little phones that's something we would do we would decorate it we would cut out little squares and tape it or glue it to make buttons on our flip phones made of paper and it was such a joy i recall that memory with so much joy we also had a classroom bell so when it got too loud we would just hit the bell and it had like a little tiny little metal mallet that you hit the bell with I want one so badly. <laughs> I want a little mallet with a bell so badly. Like it's not enough just to have the little ting, 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 ting. No, I need the fucking tiny ass mallet. This little mallet is like, ah, uh, it's the highlight of my, my, uh, what's it called? Developing years. The sun's going down and the rainbow thing disappeared, which is a little bit sad, but that means I need to turn on my light. I won't do that until it gets way too dark. Yeah, childhood. Anyway, oh, I started that topic because I really, I just despised reading. I hated reading. I did read, le learn to read a little bit later than the other kids in my grade. But I picked it up really fast, apparently, or so I was told. Got another gnat. That's gross. Anyway. Something. Anyway, these books are exciting. You know what series of books I started but never finished? Besides Paper Towns. Like, I started that, never got to the end. I just watched the movie to get to the end. And yeah, so I took that for what it was. Then I started reading audiobooks. And by reading, I mean listening. I would go on YouTube. Yeah, see, okay. So, summer reading. I would read some of them, but I was not consistent. So I started reading the audiobooks so I wouldn't have to actually read. That's. Okay, I like reading, but the story matters. I'm not gonna read a book that I don't care about. Um, anyway, I would read the trilogy of To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Oh, the one, the Netflix one, with Lana Condor as the main actress. Crush on her. I was like, oh my God, uh, a Korean. Asian character in a rom-com. Wow, my heart. Yes, this was also just after the peak of my K-pop phase, so. Yeah, I haven't watched the sequels or like the rest of the trilogy. I can at some point, but I, I didn't. Yeah, I don't know, summer reading was just, I only had to do that when I was trying to be an honors student for English. And then I dropped out of honors English because I was struggling. Freshman year was um, a struggle to put it lightly.
there were good parts about it, but uh, honestly, the entire thing is hardly worth mentioning right now. Gardening gloves. Yes, my grade in English, uh, I had a perpetual C or less, and that's when I was trying. So anyway, I have more things in my hobby thing. Hobby haul. Oh, this. I got super glue gel so I could finally put back together the obsidian inlay. Because, I mean, it doesn't bother me too much without it. It just feels like everything is too incomplete. So I got the gel kind because it doesn't run. I like that it doesn't run or drip because then I don't have to like worry about it getting all messy. But yeah. Dollar Tree has these now. That's dope. I don't really need more than a drop, but I guess I have super glue for more crafts. Okay, this is a little book full of word searches. Yeah. So like, if I ever want to kill time and decide that I actually have the willpower to leave my phone alone, like, fuck that. Stop. I'm just, I don't want to be on my phone for entertainment every time I want something to do. And, like, I do have other hobbies, like writing and such. But I'm trying to stray a little bit more away from the technology of it. Because now that technology is becoming more career-based in my life, rather than as a form of entertainment and escapism, even though escapism will always be a priority when it comes to technology. That's just how the, the consumer business runs, the corporate consumers go based off of. I don't know what I'm saying. This coffee plus 20 milligrams of Adderall, <sighs> like it's not terrible, but I can't get my words out quick enough. So I might be talking fast. And my mind is still going faster. But hey, I'm doing pretty well for the way it is right now. <sighs> I got the gnat. Another gnat. Do you see it right there? Tights. Yeah, fuck these gnats. There's a billion of them everywhere. They're infesting the place. <laughs> I also got this. Chicken noodle soup for the soul, when prayers are answered. Now, I'm not a very religious person. I don't really believe in, you know, God to be the higher power, but I do believe there are higher powers than humans. I have something to believe in. It's just not very religious. It's spiritual, sure, you could say that. I do like to pray to planets, specifically the moon. But this started... I was reading the, the table of contents, and that's what actually got me to be okay with getting this, despite it being, like, fairly religious. Because usually I would avoid that. But look at me, maturing, becoming an adult, open-minded of things. Yes, we can make ramen. Um, I will be over probably later in the night. Dun, 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 rhythm of the night. Oh, so the first poem or story here is called Expect Miracles. And I have this relationship with miracles that I am um, highly believe in. I wrote down on my whiteboard, I create miracles. I cause miracles to come true. I just have to believe it. There's also two, three other ones that I really, really wanted to read. One of them is called Irish Angels in New York. That's not one of the ones I picked this out for, but that's the one my eyes landed on just, just now. There's Faith Happens, which is another one that I didn't pick this up for. Okay, April Showers and Reflections of Hope in the Snowstorm. There's also my two-second miracle which then reminded me of Carol and Tuesday about the two minute miracle on Mars. So, um, before the baby comes, soda miracles and a precious mess. Oh my God, a precious mess is exactly how I would possibly sometimes describe myself. A precious mess. 
and I want to read it so badly, but I have a lot. I have a lot. I have a lot, and I'm going to get to it, but right now, I just need to summarize all of this. So I'm going through this haul. I just realized I haven't been using my microphone, and yes, I am on my yoga ball. Can you hear it squeak against the wall? Oh my god. Uh, this, I don't know why I bought this. I shouldn't have bought this, but I did, because it was a dollar. That's the dangers of going to a dollar store. It's just, the mind is everything what you think you become. Apparently Buddha said that. I just noticed me bouncing. Yeah, so a long time ago, middle school, one of my teachers brought in yoga balls for during, it was English, English class. They brought in yoga balls and allowed us students to sit on them instead of chairs because she said some of our students have a um, trouble paying attention and sitting on yoga balls actually helps them, um, you know, keep their focus. And I just remember that earlier this year before Christmas, because I got it for Christmas, I remembered that. I didn't have ADHD when I was younger. When I was in middle school, I wasn't diagnosed with anything. I don't even remember if I sat on the yoga balls. I think I did once. Anyway, sixth grade, man. I'm pretty sure it was sixth grade. Either sixth or seventh, but I'm pretty sure it was sixth. Nobody cares, it doesn't matter. I did my makeup today because I had errands to do, so I was actually like gonna go out and it wasn't gonna be for school. So I made myself all pretty. Okay, maybe it's time to turn on the light. Okay, wait, after this. This gift book features a unique collections of quotes to offer encouragement and hope to your friends and loved ones. You see, I have a whole bunch of sayings and metaphors and quotes inscribed in my brain just to keep me feeling, you know, um, I guess you could say alive. But now I have an actual booklet full of it. And the reason I think I got it is because on the front it says, he who plants a tree plants a hope. That's very gender specific. But look, it's a heart in the shape of a tree. It's a tree in the shape of a heart. And there's a sunset. And I don't know, I like the colors of it. And I just realized now that the clouds have glitter on it. You can't really see because, um, uh, well, when I rip this apart, you'll see it better. But I kind of have to pee again. Five, five, five. Oh my god, it's five, five, five. Everything that is coming to me will be mine. Angel numbers, numerology, my brain loves it. It makes the neur neurons in my brain go twink, 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 twink. This, it's, it's just an organizer box. You could use it for pills. I had it in mind so that I could use it for paint. I could like go to Kamaya's place, squeeze a little bit of paint in each of these, and I could use it as my own little painter's palette. And then when I'm done, when I haven't finished all the paint that I put in here, I can just cap it and it won't dry out. I can use it for the next time. Yay! Also, I really shouldn't be trusted with so much money. Like I'm, I'm terrified that later after, like tomorrow, after the realization sets in that I spent money on this stuff, I might just freak out, but it is helping me that it was less than $50 in total for all of this. That does help. Thankfully, the dollar store does not make me feel shame about living in a capitalist society. I got wax melts. I do have a wax melt thing, but I mainly got it because... <sighs> You know, it kind of smells like, you know what it smells like? It smells like honeydew, or not honeydew, honeydew boba. And you know what honeydew boba reminds me of now? God damn it, I got a pimple because I was wearing my mask all day. Fuck. Ugh, that sucks. That really does suck. It 
It's like, I hate. Um, it reminds me of a nicotine vape in like my favorite flavor. And I quit that. And I'm trying to stay quitting on that. I'm trying to stay quitted. So I might use this. I might just keep it in my car to uh, maintain some sort of scent. But I have a feeling if this is in my car when it's really hot and the smell disperses so much, then I might get nauseous because it reminds me of nicotine. But we'll see. I think I'm just gonna keep it in my car like this. I was gonna try put it in a thing and put it there, but I don't know. It's a whole process I'm going to figure out, but I'm not figuring out right now. I got a white, oh wait, these are paint brushes, just two. One large one and one very fine detailed one. Um, that's all I really need, I guess, apparently. Oh my god. I'm so scared of waking up tomorrow and feeling like this is all a total waste. Uh, I mean, I have the receipt somewhere. I mix it up with other receipts. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. These are hobbies. These are things that I will use to create. And anything I can create is worth it. It was like less than $60, less than $50 even. So I really shouldn't be swaying, but I got a white ink pen. At least I think that's what it is. It looks like white. Non-toxic. Okay, actually, that microphone has feedback. Um, feedback on a microphone because I'm an I'm audio engineer. I have to pee again, dude. This coffee is not okay. Um, what can I write on? Okay, so see this red line? I'm gonna make part of it disappear, or at least turn pink. And I did. So now I know I can use this white ink pen. I'm probably going to use it on my craft paper. I have to pee again. I will. Okay, let's see if I can hold it. These are batteries for my little light up there. Um, okay, now I got to be right back. Did you call my name? Oh, it must be my yoga ball. Sorry, I'll stop moving against the wall. Mm -hmm.
The last final thing I have in my haul from the Dollar Tree are little tea light candles. They are apparently scented like coconut lime. This one I might actually keep in my car. We'll see, we'll see. Because I really actually, like, I, I can't imagine getting nauseous to this scent. It's just too refreshing. Okay. Well, that's everything. I guess I could get into more detail. Incense? No, I ran out of incense. I mean, I have incense cones, but only the cinnamon ones are left. And the cinnamon ones are good. But I ran out of the frankincense ones. I ran out of all my incense sticks. I will buy more soon. Nuts. Fuck. I'll buy more soon. I like to buy them from this very specific place called Shirts and Things because you can buy individual scents, like your own custom collection of 10 incense sticks. And it costs like a dollar, which I really like. I mean, for only 10, it's pretty pretty good and it, I like that it's my selection but shirts and things has a very uh distinct selection one of them is called sexy lady there's another one called butt naked and those are my favorite especially after and before a shower 10 for a dollar yeah there's this other store that's um called like the thrift exchange by this bobo tea place that I like they also do that. You can buy individual scents for, I don't know, it might actually be less than a do dollar. Insane, like, like, a, like that's a good deal insane, or like that's overpriced insane, because I really can't tell. Yeah, I want to go to shirts and things. I deposited some of my saved up cash into my card. I almost left my card in an ATM at Wells Fargo. The next person who went in, like walked out with it in hand, held it up. The other person that they came out of their car with was like, hey, 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 hey. They were calling for me. I was like, what? I realized, oh my God, I just walked out of Wells Fargo without my card. I just put it in the machine, did my thing and then left. It's because the depositing thing was weird and my mind was stuck on that. It wouldn't take my 50 at first, but it took my ones. So I did all my ones, six of them, one at a time, with a 30 second break in between so that the machine could process. Eventually, I did get the 50 in. I think it's the way I inserted it. You saw that nat again, right? In the lower right corner? Oh, fuck. Um... Yeah, he like walked up to my car. I was nearly out of the parking lot and he walked up. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. You're so kind. Uh, I'm like, wow, that happened. That was the best possible case scenario that could have happened. It's funny too, because the other day, or no, earlier today, my dad was like, you lose your card again? I was like, no, I have it. He was like, then who ordered a new card. I don't know. It all it almost would have been me, but it wasn't. So cool story. Um Raina on twenty milligram Adderall is kind of like She's a lot, but, but like, she's also expressive. I mean, she's objective, but she's not so in her head. I'm talking about me. 
Who's Nokia? What the fuck? Gonna walk to the store. What store? What are you getting? Are you getting paint? Do you have a wide selection of paint? Either way, I'm gonna bring my paint supplies with my school bag. Okay, yeah. All right, SpongeBob, go ahead, head out. Oh my God, there's a cat walking in my front yard. Oh my God, there's a halo surrounding him in the spotlight because of his fur. He looks like he was glowing. Nake, that is not your brother's name. You told me it was something else before. Unless that's like a nickname, then I'm confused. Well, either way, I'll still be here wrapping this up. Uh, yeah. Naye? There's two K. Naye? Kanaye? Kanaya? Well, anyway, go get your juice. Whatever kind of juice that is. Pussy juice. The gnat. I wish I could just like squish them without them flying away. I've done it before. Nakye. Nakai? Oh! Yeah, Nakai. Okay, 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 I get it now. All right, go on. I'm going to I'm going to turn on this light and then Okay, hello my singular viewer. It's back to just you and me now. Just you and I. I got this gold obsidian inlay that belongs here. So I'm gonna do that now. Yes, while you are watching. I'm excited to crochet. I'm excited to read this book too. And to color. I've given myself a lot to do now. And it's not like stuff I have to do. So I, I don't know. It doesn't feel like a familiar feeling. It's kind of strange. Oh god. It's spilling. It's okay. I have plastic to do, too. Um. Okay. No, I'm gonna try to remove this. It, uh, it's concaved, so. It's not meant to be easy to take out. I put tea tree oil on my upper lip pimple, so it's hard to smell anything now. It is wood, so it's not supposed to smell any kind of way. Wood has porous surfaces, so. What the fuck? Is that ear skin? Is that my dead ear skin? I can't tell. Is that normal? I think this is all dead skin that I'm just shaving off. It's pretty gnarly. It's like, it's pretty gross. It's like I'm picking my nose, except it's my ear hole. The boogers are just so dry and crusty. Yeah, I'm gonna describe this in as much disgusting detail as possible. Tight. 
Okay, here we have my thing. Now I'm gonna, I got my glue right here, you can see it. Just gonna like, I guess, I got glue on the side. Fuck. I don't want it to be gross. Okay, and hopefully. All right, that should be enough. I'm gonna let that set. Look at my hole. Yeah, the wood is really good at making my ear not smell bad. Unless I really am not smelling it because of the tea tree oil covering it up. You're not getting anything. But there is a whole lot of dead skin just like, it's pretty gross, pretty gnarly, really is. <laughs> I did that, like that's my ear. My ear is what this looks like. This is what my ear looks like. Wild. Okay, well, let's look at this. I want to show you what the glittery sky thing looks like. I don't know if any of you know this, but there's a new episode of, or new season of Good Girls on Netflix. You know, the one about the moms that commit gang crimes. It's so good. It's so great. This came with it. It's a little envelope with the same picture on the front, but uh, that's probably the most useful, useless part of this. The front cover is textured. The glitter is textured. Okay, do you see in the clouds that matte part and that kind of looks like something spilled on it? It's actually glitter and it looks really pretty. Just, uh, not right now. I shouldn't have gotten this. I really shouldn't have. It's just a bunch of quotes that I... Come, my friends. Tis not too late to seek a newer world. That's nice. I love seeking newer worlds. Behind the veil of each night, there is a smiling dawn. I like the use of the word veil to describe night. And I, I just like when people use the word dawn. It just like, it dawns upon me. I don't know, I love words. I'm a linguist. You find hope the same way you find happiness. You give it to someone else and borrow a little bit of it back. Oh, the same one that's on the front. He who plants a tree plants a hope. Once you choose hope, anything is possible. I like that, choosing hope. 
the possibility of choosing hope. I don't think of all the misery, but the beauty of it, but the um, but of the beauty that still remains. That's from Anne Frank. I know who that is. That still remains. Beauty that still remains. It's easy to think of misery. But seek the beauty that still remains. I love words. If we will be quiet and ready enough, we shall find compensation in every disappointment. That's by Henry David Thoreau. Recognize that name? Don't remember who it is. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Confucius. I like the word glory in rising. I don't know, these, these specific uses of these words, these quotes. I just really like the choice of words here. Hang on to your hat. Hang on to your hope and wind the clock for tomorrow is another day. I don't like that one that much. Like it's okay and it's true and it is hopeful, but it's just not my favorite. May your choices reflect your hopes, not your fears. Nelson Mandela. I want to reflect hope. I recognize times where I've chosen fear over hope. I don't want to make those same mistakes. Out of difficulties grow miracles. Jean de la Bruyere. Another Nelson Mandela quote. It always seems impossible until it is done. That's, I'm gonna end that one there. I'll look through this every now and then, but until it is there. Maybe I'll rip some out and put them on my vision wall. I do have another book that's more like picture. There's pictures in the background that I got from Goodwill. And I already have ripped out a couple pages from it before. But I want to get new pages. Because it's a new chapter. And yes, I am ripping them out of the book. Yeah, because I want an individual page so I can tape it to the wall. I might just rip it out and pin it to the wall after I put this cork sheet adhesive on. I'll find time to do all the hobbies. It's just a little bit frightening because I know that I have a lot of priorities that take up my time. And I don't want to compromise one set, one, one, I don't want to compromise my time for another activity when I, when I can make room for both. I'm simplifying my life, which is really strange because I've always viewed it as a inherently relentlessly complex and difficult thing but seeing it that way isn't helping doesn't do any more good than harm how long am i supposed to let this glue sit for it says it cures quickly Oh, good thing I got the no drip gel because it's best on porous surfaces. That's exactly what I have. Oh, I'm supposed to be pressing this for 15 seconds, but I didn't. Clean tip and replace cap after use. Store in a cool, dry place. Well, then I guess it's already set. The glue already set it. 
I'm trying to like press it, scoop it out. But I think it's all good now. So I'm just gonna like shove it back in my ear and have you watch. I'm mildly terrified of ripping my flesh every time I have to put this back in. Hmm, got it. There it is. All back. The fucking mat. <sighs> I can't just grab it. I wish I could just grab it out of thin air. Just squish it just like that. Okay. There's a lot happening here. There's just like stuff all over my floor and to the right of me. I'm gonna tidy this all up. And then dip or I might dip first let me check what's in my bag making sure I'm not forgetting anything okay mm -hmm. I still have time to pick up my prescription oh I just that's a lie pharmacy closes at six not nine and it's already six so I guess that's tomorrow's problem okay well then I'm gonna tidy up I hope you enjoyed today I know that I did. Let me show you my makeup before I uh, end this. I trimmed the lashes so they fit my eye better. Because before, I just left it its fullest length and let my eyes look droopy. Because I thought that was okay. And it is, but not really. This one kind of looks better than this one in my opinion, but it might just be the way I put the lash on. Okay. I also put on like some glitter and eyeshadow and blush and highlight but you know this lighting isn't made for that it's not made for you to see anymore so whatever <sighs> hello singular viewer i hope you enjoyed today's show um i'm calmed down just a little bit more so that's I suppose good. I think if I applied it a little bit closer to the inner corner, I don't know, maybe, whatever, too late. It's already on. Well, that's really it. I think the longer I just keep going, the more I'm going to drag it on and it doesn't really need to be. So, hope you enjoyed today's show. I'm going to kill all these gnats and I'm going to bring these donut holes to Kamaya so she can have a sugar rush and I can witness that. I also have my Subway cookies. Oh, it's behind my laptop. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Goodbye.